Right, this is where the project starts to take on a bit of fun and we start putting things together. This video is actually intended to show how to put the cartridge into the system reliably and easily. It's very good practice when you're doing this, uh, certainly for planning stages, is to put the cartridge into its port. What I've had to do here, as you can probably see, is just to cut down to the start of where this metal shielding is. Uh, in other words, this outer plastic has been cut off and the bit here. That's so that when the cartridge is put in place, it's nice and flush against the actual game itself. So what we're trying to achieve is the cartridge to be completely inside the system by that amount. So what we need to do is to make in effectively a guide so that the cartridge goes in nice and smoothly and doesn't shuffle about. To that end I've made two little parts. This part which is spray painted in black is to contain the section itself. This fits in very tightly indeed. As you can see it goes in with a little bit of a fight. However once it's on it doesn't come off. Literally just cut a couple of holes very snugly with full access to the pins. I actually had a spare one of these uh, which is quite handy because it means I can show you how everything is put together uh, without destruction of the pins. So let's put this back in place again. This is another part which is the assembly that uh, will be seen from the outside. Basically three pieces of two millimeter thick perspex cut to fit exactly to the inside of the case and as you've seen I've seen used here some spare pieces of copper which I've cut and bent to 90 degrees angles um, to make some nice right angle joints. These are hot glued in place and uh, the whole system is really quite strong. These at the back are to secure against the plate itself. I had originally designed it and made it work for screws, in fact computer screws, however given the angle that it works with the case the screws don't actually turn so instead of that I'm going to have to attach them by a different process. But to give you some idea of how this will go together this pushes up against the end, that pushes against uh, this part I'll put that there just to further reinforce it and that will keep everything very firmly in place what I'm going to do is to set this guide up, put a little hot glue on each side, make sure it's nice and central, secure this down, and then come back to the next part of the video. Which is where we're at now. This assembly has been hot glued along the sides, and to secure this part to this, um, I've used some screws, which are actually from a, an old computer, which you can tighten by hand. The only downside of having them out like this is the fact that they can interfere with the position of the speakers. However, when these are in place, if they're just held in place by a tiny amount of hot glue, they could be easily lifted out, um, which is how I'm going to have to do this. The Z button is just on the side here. I'm going to just install that first and then show you the game cartridge part working as well. I've used a rubber backed um, tack switch and a little piece of copper which has been bent around into shape so that it fits in it into position. I've put the Z button within the hole, put this in place to make sure it's nice and central. and use the hot glue gun hold it in place for a few seconds I know they say let it dry for a few seconds and then snap the glue to stop the string however <laughs> we'll see if we get the string, I might be unlucky it's just starting to harden it's still very soft and that's what happens when you touch it Okay, and now do the other half. 
nice down in place. Keeping finger over the tack switch to make sure it doesn't move about while the glue is taking its effect. On the sides of these will be the batteries. If there's not enough space for these cells to fit vertically, then I'll open them up and put one cell across and one cell along here. Uh, I should be able to get two, certainly two, if not three packs of these batteries. So looking at four to six amps in total. Right, so now the talking, let us now glue itself into place. I'll turn the case around, see it's installed, and the button works absolutely great. To insert a cartridge, just push it home, and as you notice, it's nice and flush to the edge. This is what it looks like from the inside. And to pop the game out, it'll just be a thing of easing it out a couple of times and then it becomes free. There's no surplus space, as you see, it's literally edge to edge, however it does move in and out nice and freely. Which now brings us on to the speakers. Uh, these are the ones from the PlayStation screen. Uh, they're little Mylar speakers, they work very well. What I've done here is just a cut away of one of the corners on each of them uh, along the hard part, not the rubber, that's the speaker itself. The idea then is that it will fit in the recesses of the case quite sn snugly and also, roughly speaking, central to where the speaker holes are. So, as mentioned, just use a tiny bit of glue because although we shouldn't need to get to the cartridge for repairs there's no such thing as never. Something could go wrong and you might need to remove it. So it's always important when you're doing a portable to make sure that you can get to it later on and do any repairs as required. Let's keep that pressed for a moment and then do the opposite side. It's a little bit of glue coming out, doesn't need very much. It's not taking any weight after all. A little bit on the other side. And there we have it.